Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside and we are doing a very special nursery update because we got all of this gorgeous fall color in yesterday and I cannot wait to share it with you. So what we have is just an absolute sea of pansies and violas and all sorts of wonderful components that you can use to create gorgeous fall color for your landscape or your containers. So we're gonna kinda of walk through and let you see them. For our local people here at Creekside in the Dallas, Charlotte area region, we will have all of these available beginning on Thursday through Saturday. This will probably be our big order as far as the fall color before all of the ones that we planted up will be ready the end of October. So if you have a specific color of pansies or violas that you're looking for, or you see something on this video that you're really interested in, you need to come and get them this weekend because supplies are limited and when they're gone, they're gone and we're not gonna get any more. So just letting you know, if you like something, get your honey out here and come get them. Now, before we really get started, let me tell you the difference between pansies and violas. Like what is the deal? All right, so pansies and violas. Pansies are a type of violas, but violas are not necessarily pansies. You get what I'm saying? So it's violas and pansies are a type of it. Pansies, of course, both of them love the full sun. That's how you get all your blooms. So full sun requirements. Violas are a little bit more shade tolerant than your pansies. Pansies, of course, have the big, huge, massive blooms on them. Violas have a little bit of a smaller bloom, but they have more blooms on the plant. So they still give you mass of color. There's just more blooms that are smaller versus a few big fat blooms of the pansy. Pansies typically get a little bit taller. Violas are a little bit shorter. Of course, you can mix and match them. They do great together. Uh, violas will also tend to trail a little bit more. Um, violas will also bounce back quicker if we have a really cold snap. So they will be good bloomers even in January and February. Let's see if I missed anything. I don't think so. Um, violas, of course, are also known as Johnny Jump Ups. And so if you've ever heard them that way, that's what they're called. So what we're gonna do is just go through here and look at them, all the colors. So I have Emily today as my camera lady, as opposed to Jerry, he is off at a landscape job. So we're gonna do a great job here today, I have no doubt. Now, they just got watered, so they are wet. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the colors, like the technical covers, colors, but this is a gorgeous blue. This is a pansy, and you can see that nice, big, really pretty color with that little yellow dot in the center. So there are blues. Of course, what I was holding um, in our little thumbnail picture, this is the citrus mix. So it's yellows, oranges, and whites all together. Just, I mean, if you're just looking for some the little pop of sun, well, here you go. You cannot go wrong with this one. Now you can see when the truck came yesterday, we just kind of, well, we didn't throw them down, but we placed them in a quick hurry down here so some of these in the back, I'm not gonna be able to get to a whole lot, um, but look at this one. Now this one is one of my favorites. This is considered light blue. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, just stunning. So, so pretty. So the light blue, then we have, okay, now we're getting into some violas. Now you'll see when I'm talking about this, look at that. That sweet little bloom right there, just absolutely precious. So there are tons of colors. I'm trying to figure out myself which ones I'm going to do. This is a great bicolor one. I mean, that just screams fall. It is just a really great little viola. Um, then, Em, if you'll pan over here, there's some great, these are some pansies, the big orange ones are pansies. Then we go down, there's a couple of mixes in there. 
Then we had the, yep, those are just gorgeous. Look at the purple and yellow together. I mean, y'all, I just want to plant them all. I don't know where they're going to go, but I just want to plant them all. Now, this might be one of my favorites. Of course, another viola, but look at the color on these beauties. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is called rose, so I'll give you an idea if you're looking for something. That is rose. Then there's whites. M can show you the whites back there. There are, um, let's see. You know what, guys? These might be the trailing pansies. So, M, shoot those again right quick. Just shoot them on down. So, there is the white trailing. Then there is some purples. Then this one over here is a beautiful, almost like an ice blue. I mean, look at those colors. Gorgeous. So we're going to just pan through right here. There's some beautiful yellows. I know I had a friend today because I put this up on Instagram and she was like, I'm coming for the yellow violas because they do beautiful in my yard. So much better than pansies. She lives in a really mature, um, established yard, has a yard, um, older house, big trees. So she's already figured out that violas do really well for her. And then coming over here, <laughs> that was a little quick little turn there. Hopefully it wasn't too rough for you. All right, come down here, Em. I'm gonna show you. This is what's called Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller is a fantastic foliage plant. Now, it just got watered, so it's wet. Typically, it has a great silver color to it. Even your big leaves had that silver um, green foliage to it. Now, this would be fantastic to mix in the landscape and your containers. Whole different kind of dimension, just really, really pretty. So we love the Dusty Miller. We're gonna stand up nice and slow, showing that. Excellent, I'm gonna come up beside of you. This is real life, people. Our kids are involved in every single part of this nursery, whether it is potting up plants or helping customers or shooting videos for their mama because their daddy's landscaping. I mean, they do it all. They're hopefully, hopefully, they'll be great, well-rounded adults. Um, Emily's laughing behind you. Okay, so more Creeping Jenny is in. Remember, we love the Creeping Jenny because it is such a great spiller for the containers. Um, I think all the chocolate has been sold, but we have this great lime Creeping Jenny. She's great. Now, if you're looking for some fun interest, this is called Bright Lights Swiss Chard. So Swiss Chard is actually an edible, like you can eat it. But in this case, we're gonna be using it as an accent plant with some color. This is gonna be a great thriller for both the landscape and your container. So if you've got some, if you've got like rose violas or yellow violas, this would you know, just pair beautifully with it because it gives you that height, but all this color on the stalks. Of course, it's a great cool weather plant. So this is a great one. So we've got that, we've also got the ivy, so if you're looking for a trailer, this is the variegated ivy. And then we have, M, you stay right there. Then we have just the great classic solid green ivy. Again, what makes a great spiller into your containers. Really pretty. Um, M, we're gonna go around this way, babe. Coming on over here, we've got all sorts of types of kales and cabbages again this is in this case we're selling it as an ornamental but i actually grew this exact same kale in my garden this year as an edible just know we're selling it as an accent plant so both of these are kale there's red boar and winter boar these will get taller of course just a little bit i think they're right around that 18 to 24 inches, maybe. Sounds good. 12 to 24, we'll say 12 to 24. Um, again, gives you some height in the containers or the landscape. 
really neat accent plant. And then if you like the little squatty guys, what I call the saucers, we've got tons of those. Now you'll notice that there's not a whole lot of the ornamental color yet on the center of them. That will come as the temperatures get colder at night. So they've actually got to have some cool temperatures for that color to change in the center. But we'll have a red one and then we have a white one. So again, great in all types of applications. Use it just tons of different ways. We still have um, ornamental grasses to put in there that are perennials. Um, I feel like we're missing something. But anyway, all of that to say, we have got tons of fall color for you here at Creekside Nursery. But again, if you're local, come see us Thursdays through Saturday, nine to three. We'll be here. You'll get to meet Em. She'll be on the other side. And so you can actually see her sweet little face. Uh, as always, thank you so much. Thanks for bearing with us as we did this quick little tour of all the fall color. Y'all have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time. Bye.